Do you need a professional standout logo for your business, but you are not a designer? In this video, I'll show you how to design, select fonts, and customize your logo for your business using Canva. If you're new to this channel, hi and welcome. My name is Ksenia, and I'm a brand and website designer by trade. And here I share Squarespace website design and marketing tips, tutorials for busy creators and entrepreneurs. So make sure to subscribe. But before we jump in into Canva to start designing, here's a few things I want you to do to simplify this process for you. So first, take a um, piece of paper or a digital piece of paper and write down target audience for your business, gender, age, price range, etc. This would help us down the line when we're going to be selecting visuals for our brand to make sure that those visuals correctly represent our branding. I would write down three to four different adjectives that describe your brand. For example, it could be an elegant, sophisticated, high-end, or it could be bold, brave, bright. Just write them down and have them handy next to you while you're designing it. The brand I'm going to be designing today is the branding for a photography business and the words I selected for this branding is an elegant, sophisticated and high-end. I logged into the Canva account. If you don't have an account yet, you can find the link below and create a free account. Um, <clears throat> type in logo and Canva has a lot of different templates that are going to give us a hand start when we're designing. Scroll through them and kind of see what we like what we don't. Looking back at my words, elegant, sophisticated, and high-end, this one is not going to work for us. This is more like vintage, retro. Well, this one, it's also more urban, modern, like quirky. This is not really what we want. But for example, this one, this is more of the style already leaning towards what we are looking for. And once you click on one template, there's going to be a bunch of different templates open up for you. So you can just scroll through them and see maybe there's something else that you would like. The other way to look for the template is instead of typing logo, you can search for, for branding. Here, there's going to be a full brand identities come up for you. This one is like more perfect for like bold, brave and bright, cheerful branding. If that's the style you're looking for. Well, this one is already more cleaner, less colorful. While scrolling, I think I want to settle my choice on this template. Click Customize. By clicking on this duplicate page, you can duplicate it. I would always suggest once you found the template that you like, always kind of try to keep it original one and work on, on the other. If you mess something up, you go back to the original version. This is two separate blocks of text and they group together, ungroup them, and now we can manipulate them. Paste the, the name that I'm working with today. This name is very well balanced, meaning it has five letters on this side and five letters on this side. While here, when I'm working with my name, this just doesn't look right because the name actually has more letters than the last name maybe two, two separate lines. Actually, we can just copy and paste and have the name and the last name separated so we can move them separately. So for example, you can also use different alignment, right, left, left, center, etc. I also have to edit this. So it's C, -ch. I would want this to be separate letters now as we arrange this. I think this already looks better. I'm gonna duplicate this again and try a different font. Font tab over here. You have handwritten fonts, corporate fonts, display fonts, headings, paragraph, etc. I want something minimal. That's kind of the style I'm looking for. We can kind of like move it. And we can also adjust spacing just a little bit. I want something more white. I feel like the wider font would work better here. Okay, this is the other option we have. Then we can duplicate it and try maybe a different script font. All I'm doing here is just kind of playing with different fonts, different shapes, different way to arrange elements in our logo to see which one looks 
better and which one I like better because sometimes the most surprising combinations of funds or positioning could be actually that you liked spend like an hour just playing with different different visuals maybe we can also try different positioning I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna keep this one and try something different I like this one looks fine too and if you forgot if you like me you just change this and you, you obviously don't know what font you were using originally just go back to this H and then here it's going to show you what kind of font so once you click on a font here on the upper right left corner you're going to see what font this is so I'm going to change it back to Amsterdam if you would like to add some other elements like maybe some lines or illustration click here on the elements and then this one you can just scroll it through and see which one you like and if you want to add any of this type of elements to your logo design sometimes when you click on one of these elements they're going to show you more options of a similar element explore more possibilities these elements are a little too complicated for my likeness for the logo usage this one is all right because it's geometrical so it can scale easily so what we can do kind of group these two elements together and then select it again you see we can tell that it's not positioned in the center so we can click position now and align to the center but before we did that we made sure to group these two elements because if we didn't it would just kind of all smoosh together the two the two words let's move this to a different page so let's say this element try to make it kind of similar look when the illustration is in the middle like that this should be a little larger so here's another moderation that we can implement using illustration but i think i kind of prefer this option this is the one we're gonna use and you actually do not have to settle for just one logo meaning <laughs> you can have a different variations of the same logo so for example we can use both this and this and we can also just copy the two first letters and use it as like a word mark without the, the actual name we want to have one per page and i'm gonna scale it as large as possible to fit the screen in this case you don't want to have any available top with the button also remove the text and the next one is going to be we're going to remove this just give it this one that and the last one is going to be this one once we download the size of the logo is going to be this rectangle this is too much space around it so for this particular one i would go back to the home page and create a design custom size so let's do a thousand three hundred this is our new design i'm gonna paste it here and now we're gonna scale it to the max of our artboard just like that okay just make sure to pay attention to the edges for this particular example we're only going to be using black and white we want always a logo in white and black so let's adjust this to be the darkest black and this one is actually going to be white just like that go to the share button and download it and you want to select the higher size in PMG and then you want to make sure to select a transparent background and click download here's our two logos go back and do exactly the same thing we also want this in dark and in white but just like that so we want this into different colors and we want this to be in white as well download and basically the same settings again under the pages we want both of them but not the first one select all of them and just drop it in back in our uploads search for wedding this is a good picture and now let's go to our uploads and put our logo here you see it doesn't have any background we can also use just the initials maybe just place it like here in the corner this looks very cute like a uh, handwritten signature and i feel like it's perfect with this type of image so this is how you would create a logo in Canva. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you.